Hey, good morning to you, Justin and Vanessa, and the damage is extensive. These businesses could be facing a complete and total loss at this point in time. Want to give you a look from overhead, Air 11 giving us the bird's eye view. You can see how this fire started at one end of the strip mall, completely gutted out the roof on that end. Those flames took hold, and then they just raced through the entire thing. What that means is eight businesses lost, eight families without their livelihood. And all of the people that they employ in this local community also without work at this point in time because they cannot come back here and open up their places of business. Everything from a restaurant to a barber shop, another restaurant, Zadie's Kosher Bakery, which is a staple in this community and is so dependent upon a nail and lash salon and also a dry cleaner, all seeing their livelihoods come to an abrupt end here. The blaze starting around 2.30, going to two alarms. No injuries in this. Multiple other fire departments coming in to lend a hand. Hawthorne, Wyckoff, Paramus. They're saying, according to the fire chief, it started in the Green Dragon restaurant and then took off. Listen in. It looked like a thick fog um, with the wind. There was a slight wind coming from the north, so it was blowing southward. Um, and it was it was pretty intense. I'd say the flames got to be about maybe 20, 30 feet um, from the roof. So before they really got started getting it under control. Oh, I feel bad for the people who lost their businesses. I mean, that's terrible. You know, come back come back to work and you don't have a business anymore or a job. And we started seeing the uh, roof was starting to compromise. So we pulled everybody out, and then, like I said, we went to an aerial operation. You got the Green Dragon, you got the barbershop, you got the Roadhouse, you got Zadie's, you got a nail salon, and then you got the, uh, looks like the, the cleaners at the end. And how much damage are we talking about? Are they going to be able to open up today, tomorrow, no, next no, week? Extensive. No, it's extensive damage. And back out here live, you can see all of the storefronts here. So much debris out in the parking lot. A tremendous amount of water damage as they poured so much of it on there to try to tamp down those flames, which they finally got under control. But it took several hours to do all of that. At this point in time, the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office, they need to come in to investigate the origin of the fire scene. And you can hear the construction going on behind me as they're ripping up the road to likely get at the utilities, make sure those are shut off so that there's no more damage or worries about that in the neighborhood. We're live this morning in Fairlawn. I'm Kirsten Cole, Justin, Vanessa, to you.